okay so hello friends today our topic is the intracranial hemorrhages so before going to the lecture first uh, see the diagram this diagram will contain every you know every injury to the cranial so first one the layer you have to know the layer so this is the dura mater this layer is the dura mater next uh, this is the arachnoid mater and this is the pia mater and this is the brain matter okay so between vault of the cranium and the dura mater this phase is known as extra dural space next come to the subdural space subdural space is between dura mater and arachnoid mater next is sub arachnoid space sub arachnoid space between arachnoid mater and pia mater this this space now the dura, uh, subdural space contains the bridging veins here yeah, bridging veins now and the subarachnoid space contains csfs plus middle meningeal sorry plus a uh, circle of willis okay, this is circle of willis okay circle of willis now this is and the subdural uh, extra dural space contain the medial meningeal artery this is extra dural space now if any injury is done to the subdural space okay subdural space any injury is done to the temporal bone then mid fracture of the temporal bone occurs and will it cause the rupture of the medial meningeal artery so what will happen it will cause the extra dural hemorrhage next come to the subdural hemorrhage subdural hemorrhage in subdural space bridging veins are present so any injury you know shaking due to the shaking rupture of bridging veins can occur and which will cause the subdural hemorrhage and subarachnoid hemorrhage will cause to the rupture of the circle of willis any trauma okay uh, it co will cause this cause this now let's write down source of extradural hemorrhage will rupture of middle meningeal artery middle meningeal artery next source of subdural hemorrhage is the bridging veins are the bridging veins and source of subdural arachnoid hemorrhages are circle of willis okay and it is occurs due to temporal bone fracture next bridging veins uh, damage occurs due to the shaking of the head next is circle of willis any injury or any trauma Okay, so this was the lecture of the intracranial hemorrhage so guys if you like this video then please do hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel